King, Kansas, here to do a review, a TV season series finale review. What am I doing? I'm doing one of the biggest shows. It just went down. This is an immediate reaction, guys. Just finished watching the final episode of season eight of Game of Thrones, episode six. So I'm going to do my reaction and review. What I liked, what I hate about it. Was it a letdown? Did it live up to expectations? The king is here to give you his personal thoughts. Don't worry, I'm not going to go in full, complete uh, review mode here. We'll have a spoiler discussion with the movie master. Hopefully in the next couple of days, if not next week, we're going to go into detail from season one all the way to the last episode. I'm just going to go into my review and thoughts for the final episode of the series finale. So anyways, here's my thoughts. Loved it. It was good. Was it was I was it what I exactly expected? Hell no. I thought there'll be more fighting, more deaths, more everything. But it was classic. It was done. Jon Snow did what we said he was gonna do. He was gonna kill Daenerys, even though it was in a sneaky way. He didn't want to do it at first, but Therion got into his head and he took care of it. Therion, of course, betrayed his queen. He was going to get executed, and John begged for mercy for him, and she basically told him, no, you have to still show an example of, you know, to the rest of the people that you don't go against the queen. Um, do I like who uh, sat on the throne or sitting on the throne of the choice? No. Nope. Does it make sense? Yes. So it's Bran the Broken, just in case you guys haven't seen it. Uh, Bran Stark. He can't have kids. He's in a wheelchair, has no connections. He can see the future. He's the perfect person to lead them into the future and for this vision. Of course, the Unsullied didn't want that. They found out that Jon Snow killed Daenerys, stabbed her. Dragon freaked out and melted the throne. That was a kick-ass scene. Loved it. Uh, the last 5-10 minutes of the show or the episode was good. Um, like I said, uh, Sansa is... is well, I guess well, the way it works out, Bran, is, you know how there were seven kingdoms of Westeros? Just going to be six because she wanted to keep the North free from all of this. So she became the queen of the North, Sansa. Jon Snow got spared his life, but he got sent to the wall again. So he's with the Northling, Northlings or whatever those no, Northlings. I can't even pronounce it. So they're exploring. They're kind of going out. Uh, Arya. Wants to travel west of Westeros to see what's there because no one has charted. So she's on a whole bunch of ships with the Stark logo and going her way, which makes sense. She always wanted to be to explore the world and experience new things and not be tied down. The way they selected and listed the Therion for the king choice was excellent. Uh, it was good. Finally, he got spared, so he's he's alive, which is good. I couldn't really see him dying. Uh, I wanted Arya or somebody to sit on the major throne, but the dragon, Drogon, melted the shit out of it. Once he saw Daenerys think, he picked her up and he kind of booked it out of there. But uh, overall thoughts, I liked it. Um, was I expecting a little bit more? Was I disappointed? No. Um, like I said, just because it didn't end the way that I thought it should, it didn't make it a shit episode. But I love the way that Therian became the hand again to Bran, and then you had... Sir Davos, Sam, a couple of the other guys, and uh, Sir Brienne, uh, part of the new crew that's ruling Westeros as the king or the Iron Throne, as they say. Uh, love that. But overall, it was sad, you know, to see, to see them go. I was just a little upset that, you know, John kept it to himself. And if you would have opened his mouth at the right time, he would have been sitting on that throne and he didn't get exiled like he did. That was the only letdown that. He meant so to do so good in the world, and he got punished like that to be sent off and away from the rest of his family or who he was trying to protect. That was the shitty part to me. That's the only letdown. Kind of broke my heart a little bit for the poor guy, you know. But he didn't die, which is excellent. He met up with his dire wolf, which he kind of petted, missing a little bit of uh, her year. I don't know if it's a he or she, so forgive me, guys, Game of Thrones fans. The movie master knows more about that. But overall thoughts, loved it. Uh, I think it was about a little bit, an hour and 20 minutes. I like the way it ended. It gives you the possibilities if they're going to do any other spinoff series. If he was going to continue in the books, uh, Sir JJR or RR Martin, whatever his name is, he can do so. But uh, overall, loved it. So anyways, guys, let the king know in the comment section below. Did you like the series 
finale? Did you expect more? Were you okay with it? Could you live with it? Was it a letdown? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to tune in in the next two, three days. We'll have a full spoiler discussion on Game of Thrones. We're going to get into more details, things that were missed, things that we saw, things that we expected that didn't happen, all that fun stuff. But overall, I just wanted to give you guys my overall thoughts from watching it right away. Because, you know, it's still fresh, still emotional. I'm satisfied with the ending. So hopefully you guys are too. So until our next review, stay tuned, stick around, more good stuff to come. And, of course, stay off the King's throne. And I'll see you guys next week. Take it easy. Oh,